It'll knock you off your feet sometimes. But it'll definitely make the shit out of you. I'm not the stick up man. I don't want the rings on your hand. Name's Sean Tucker. From San Diego, California. I'm here in New York for school. You know who and my so-called friends beg for ends for me to lend. But this bank bro, they won't spend. I don't need them. We're going to Lido Beach, which is Long Beach, New York, right outside of the city, about I'd say a little over an hour. With some chit chat, bite my lyrics like kids. I feel like a little uh <laughs> a little solo trailblazer with this stuff, but I'm doing. Today I woke up at 6.30, got a little stretch going, got my music playing, you know, that's it. With, with everything, you gotta, you gotta have some sort of rituals. Take out of state trips, don't drink a lot of Hennessy, I only take a sip. I'm a skipper, like a captain, rapping is my specialty, and the best is me, so the rest is sick. BIT don't need no practice, I'm like a sharpshooter, shoot the needle off a cactus. Only thing I lack is stage fright. Pre, pre surf ritual, coffee, banana, six. It's like one and a half healthy. You have like half healthy ratings, you know? When I get stressed, I grab my vest. Put an MC to the test quick. Especially if he talks slick about who we flipped and whipped. I tripped the competition, stepped across to step to the big boss. You know, of course, they took a lot. Mumbling and whispering is what I hear when BIG appear on the scene. Niggas get scared. Why? I'm not the stick up, man. I don't want the rings on your hand. I don't understand. When I come through the avenue, I must know voodoo. Cause all eyes are on you. You know who, huh? and my so-called friends beg for ends for me to lend, but this bank roll they won't spend. I don't need them. Let the welfare feed them when it come to what's up. The I grew up, it was just me and my mom at home, so we'd, uh, we spent a lot of time just together, um, whether it would be outdoors or, you know, surfing, hiking. She got me into that, she got me a little, uh, call them little foam boards when I was little, little rocket dog, and I went on that when I was about three, and always loved it. When you're little, your parents will push you into waves because you're too little to like really control the board or anything. So <clears throat> my mom would just like take me all the way out there. And, Are you ready? And just look at me and just Psh, and I just eat shit. Excuse my language. I eat shit and just like pop back up and just get right back up for the next one. And as you get older and bigger waves, you. You know, you start surfing, you kind of realize it's just the same thing, but you're just doing it by yourself, so. Do you ever get like a nostalgic sort of a feeling for when you used to go with your family and if your mom kind of pushing you on the board? Oh, always, I mean like, you always look back and think like oh this is what made it and it, that doesn't happen in most cases but like for me like anytime I get like that little wave like to go in or I'm on my belly like I always just think of like me when I was younger doing that with my mom and it definitely gives me a good sense of uh I don't know like just that this was this is something I've been doing for a while just for the pure joy of it and I think I'll keep doing for a while for the pure joy of it so that gives me a good reassurance feeling. 